Hey guys, your outreach emails and LinkedIn messages should tell a story. Each message needs to build on the one before it. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Hard no, guys. Spamming self-aggrandizing stories is not sales. Do you want stories sent to your inbox without having asked for them? You know, stories presumed to be of interest to you, usually including the seller as the hero. Then why do you spend any time believing that other people do? Good question. Maybe you honestly don't believe that they do, but let's say you need a paycheck. <laughs> Look, you need to grow a pair. Man up. Wait, I mean, uh, woman up. Uh, shit. You need to get serious about yourself. I've been in this position before where I need a paycheck. I mean, I'll do just about anything for money, but I have a limit. So if my weak ass can sort a way out of this situation, other people can too. Sticking with it or being diligent about all these bad practices isn't building character. It's ruining your character. Yet people keep telling themselves, I've got grit, I'm tenacious, I'm not going to quit. But the reality is, this is average and pitiful spamming self-serving stories. Your outbound email or call messages should not tell stories. They should create a desire to ask for the story to be told. I agree. Any jackass can share or foist a story about how wonderful a company is. It takes skill to earn a request for it. And that is precisely why the so-called experts who have nothing really useful to contribute push this garbage. Each email needs to build on the last. Really? Why? Because the prior email did such a fantastic job of engaging them? In the third email, we share a helpful resource with no call to action. The goal is to help them solve part of the problem for free with a helpful resource. That's the most horrible thing I've ever heard. The goal is to earn a conversation, Jack, and then sell the helpful resource. You know, so we can eat. This is not a charity that we're operating, guys. Dudes, dudettes, I really hope that we are in the final stages of this awful marketing model. It's a marketing model. That's what this is. Come on, guys, spamming stories one after another and calling it value. That is the lowest form of garbage marketing that there is. Say it out loud with me, folks. Spamming self-aggrandizing stories is not sales. Attracting conversations to ourselves provoking people, helping them to believe that we are worth speaking to, that's sales. And by the way, that is also what makes good marketing. Maybe I'm just completely misguided, guys. Let me know down in comments. And if you need help attracting conversations, sign up for my Curiosity Crash Course. See the link below to get started. Start learning the truth about spamming persuasive messages at people. Before I go, you know, Benjamin Dennehy, who I absolutely adore, he likes to quote the Bible. But this message is in all religious texts, not just the Bible. Benjamin says, A time will come when people will not listen to accurate teachings. They will follow shallow desires and surround themselves with teachers telling them what they want to hear rather than what they need to know. People will refuse to listen to truth and they will turn to myths. Myths like, your outbound messages should tell stories. And another one, it's all about sharing value rather than selling it. And believing that somehow, if you spam enough value at people, they will want to have a meeting with you or they will want to buy from you. You know, each of the ancient religious texts say it. Humans must endure suffering. Yet, most sales outreach advice claims that there is no suffering. Benjamin says Google and social media like LinkedIn is all about finding options and practices that you prefer, that fit well within what you desire and take away your pain. Even if they are total bullshit, they are what you want and what you hope for. And you know that you see these. Most advice is actually designed to tell you there's no suffering, just follow this framework, test this hack, do what you're told, there is no need to think. But this is creating problems, not just for you and me, but for everybody. 
So here's what I suggest. Get back to basics. Study and practice a fundamental time-tested, enduring, bulletproof principles. Study the psychology of meaningful conversation. Understand why when we say to people, Hi, I'm here to help. And offer free value, they always tend to hear, I'm here to sell, and they see you as a weakling. You're weak. There is actual science which explains why people behave this way. And please, stop worshiping at the altar of this pseudo-psychology and consider calling it out when you see it. Are you opposed to not abusing Chris Voss's brilliant principles? Pay attention, because LinkedIn is chock full of fake psychology books, programs, and frameworks. At best, it's mediocre bullshit, offered because you prefer to believe it. And it's usually done in the name of selling tech tools, programs, and books, pushing beliefs that you actually want to believe in. So give yourself permission to do something different. Benjamin says, all of us must and should fail and suffer repeatedly. He says, but don't cry. These are the learning moments. This is where the gold is. Yes, that's awesome. Rock on, Benny. Okay, so what is the remedy to all this nonsense, to all this bullshit? Here's my completely unsolicited advice to you. Seek contentment and not hacks. Seek understanding in why people behave the opposite of what you have come to expect when they receive value or stories that they didn't ask for over and over. Step one is awakening. Become conscious. Become aware of yourself and of other options. Tell yourself the truth and then get to work. Okay. So how are you experiencing this video? Let me know, leave a comment, and if you like stretching your mind, consider subscribing to the channel or my email newsletter or take the Curiosity Crash Course if you're serious enough. See the links below to get started. My name is Jeff Molander and I will see you next time. Stay curious.